Okay guys, so after uh, about a month of research or so, I figured out how the, the guitar twinkler was made uh, by John Joe. Uh, this is the one that I'm talking about. Okay, so these are the parts you need. You need a LM386 uh, op amp. You can get them at Radio Shack for like three dollars, I believe. And then, uh, if you want the lights to come on for like brighter and longer, you need a 10 uf capacitor. And all you uh, else need is just wires. You know, maybe like a breadboard thing or you know soldering iron that stuff. So uh, I'll show you the diagram for it in a second. Alright, so this is a diagram. Basically, this is the LM386, and you take the 9 volt or 5 volt supply, whatever you need, and you connect it to pin 5. The LEDs on pin 4, and you can go and have it in series or whatever you need here, and then they go into the, the ground, which is pin 4. There, and that's also where the negative of the 9 volt goes. And then for pin 2, you have the input from your guitar negative uh, you just solder a wire onto the input jack on your guitar for that and same with the positive I'll show you how to do that later and then up here from pin 1 to 8 is the optional 10 UF capacitor this will make it light up more often and brighter like on your E string your first E string it normally won't light without this capacitor there but with the capacitor it'll light up Alright, that's the chip right there. It's really small as you could tell, and I have everything wired up there. It's really crappy though, so, but that doesn't really matter. It still works. Alright, so over here where this black and red wire are, right there, that's the positive and the negative input from your guitar. So these wires will come down. It'll be these two right here, this one, and this one, and you'll just solder them to the positive and negative on your guitar's output jack. So the red goes with the red for the positive and the black with the black for the negative. And then here's the battery wired in for the black goes to pin 4 for ground and the red to pin 6 for the positive. And then these two wires right here, these two red ones, there and there they go up through my guitar and under the pickups where the LEDs are installed. Alright, so to get to your pickups, you're going to have to take all your strings off of your guitar and then you're going to have to unscrew the four screws. Oops, okay. These four screws, don't unscrew the middle ones because that's just how high the pickup is. So I already have mine out. Oh, so your pickups are just going to pull off like this. But don't pull them too hard because they have those wires there. And if you break them, that'd be a real pain. To, uh, put them back together and they're expensive if you ruin them alright so I have these diffuser plates on mine so to help spread the light better all this is is uh, a plastic container like that with holes cut out and some scotch tape put on them so help spread the light alright so this is basically how the LEDs are set up inside it's just two sets of four LEDs set up in parallel so there's the uh, positive wire here's the negative wire All right, I have those reversed this is the positive this is the negative so the positive comes in and it powers four of these right there and then I have it going out the negative to this resistor so that I don't blow out the LEDs coming through here through the wood in my guitar and into the negative of these other LEDs right here which also has the resistor on it right there I don't know if you can see it, the lighting's kinda bad and then it goes through there and back into the positive and into this on my guitar so that creates the circuit and then the two wires go through there and so you can power them from the other side alright now you're gonna want to just string your guitar back up and uh, well, first put the pickups back on, and then you're going to string your guitar back up and tune it. 
and then once I get these back on, I'll show you the end result. Oh guys, I forgot to mention, you might want to test it with just one string. You could do that without even putting it completely on. Like, you don't even have to tighten it. Just hold it, like, tight, and then, see, you can see that it's working there. Okay, one more thing, guys. What I did to the batteries not draining all the time is that I added a magnetic switch right here. And it's just going to go under the cover of my guitar like this. Just like right there. And then when the magnet's placed on top of the electrical panel cover, it'll cut the battery supply so it can't drain. Because the last time I had a battery just sitting in here like this, it drained. And then it took me like, I could not figure out what was wrong. I ended up actually going and buying a new chip. But then I figured out that it was just the battery that was too drained out to work. Also, if you adjust the volume, like if your volume on your guitar itself is lower, the lights kind of like give a flickery effect, but if the volume's up, it's solid. Here. But with less volume, the higher note strings light up less. tone also affects it. The higher you turn the tone knob up, the more it lights up. No tone, it kind of flickers a little bit more. <laughs> 